Hi, my name is Carly Ray Jepsen, and this is Tweet Dreams. I dreamt that Carly Ray Jepsen and I had a joint birthday party. I woke myself up in the middle of it because my brain was like, this is not possible, she's a Scorpio. <laughs> Okay, I mean, <laughs> I'm weirded out that anyone out there actually knows my sign, but I guess it's public knowledge if you know my birthday. I'm a Scorpio in all of the ways, I'm concerned to say. Uh, all of the traits, the good, the bad, the ugly, the, uh, I've got those. My mom, when I was a teenager, used to say whenever I was being a bad girl that my Scorpio tail was showing. I have never done a shared birthday. In fact, I think the last three years I've almost skipped my birthday completely and then last minute thought I should do something. Maybe that would be a reason to celebrate is if I was celebrating for someone else as well. I would love to share a, a happy unbirthday party with whoever you are. We can do that sometime. Last night I had a dream that it was 2020 and I was Carly Rae Jepsen's campaign manager. For what, I wonder? Like life or like presidency? I have questions. Or like work, because I already have a pretty amazing manager, so good luck with that one. I jumped that Carly Rae Jepsen's publicist sent me an advance link to her new album, but when I woke up and checked my email, all that was there was a notification that my checking account was overdrawn. I mean, that's a bum out. That's like a high and then a low. You're gonna get some fun new secret information and then you're also gonna be dealt with some hard hits of reality. I can only say that I will send you the album, although it's already out, so, ooh. Dreamt my parents debated filing for divorce because my dad didn't like the new Carly Rae Jepsen single. I mean, those are grounds, so it's, that's fair. And yeah, and I feel like I should meet your mom because we have similar tastes and I think, I think we'd be pals. I, I had a dream. I had a private plane and went to Hawaii to see a Carly Rae Jepsen show. When I got there, they couldn't find the plane, so I spent my whole dream being anxious and looking for the plane because my dumbass dream brain didn't realize if I was in Hawaii, the plane got me there. I feel like the first question I have is just like a, a little bit about the writing technique of this tweet in general. I don't really get what you're trying to say, but I feel excited that one day we could be in Hawaii together and do a show. That's all I got, still confused, confusion. Great. So that's my main emotion. <laughs> I jumped Carly Rae Jepsen and I built a time machine and went, who are these people? <laughs> what, what, is, what, what is going on? I, I, okay, sorry. I jumped Carly Rae Jepsen and I built a time machine and went back to the 80s to sneak ourselves into our favorite movies. Yeah, we could also, we don't really need a time machine for that. I think we can just watch our favorite movies. They still exist. That's the cool thing about movies. My favorite 80s movie is Pretty in Pink. I met Raleigh Wingwald once, and I had that fanish reaction that you're not supposed to have, which is just like, oh, I love you so much. And she was like, calm down. But she's really cool. And she's a jazz singer, secret little fact. She invited me to her jazz show. It was. It was really something. I had a dream I was in a movie theater. I mean, were these prompted? Would you say what was your dream about? No, or did I just did, people just volunteer this? Some of these go back to 2012. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Just totally have I love it. I'm, and also, so many more that we didn't Oh know. my god. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> OK. I had a dream I was in a movie theater and I had to find Carly Rae Jepsen's dad. And if I did, I'd win a million dollars every year. <laughs> That's a pretty crazy dream. My, my dad lives in Mission, BC, not hard to find. Uh, he's an educator, works for the school district, so you're gonna be a rich man or woman, whatever you are. Had a dream last night that I met Carly Rae Jepsen and I was later attacked by a T-Rex. <laughs> I am unsure what this means. That makes two of us, I don't know. Had a dream I randomly met Carly Rae Jepsen and played Scrabble with her for like three hours. It was exhilarating. <laughs> Scrabble is exhilarating. Anyway, she's really good at Scrabble. Not true, not true. I love words, but somehow Scrabble and me aren't friends. And I do play with my assistant, and I have yet to beat her one time, which frustrates me. But I do beat her at chess, so.